uh, we want to keep the fetal physiology, the fetal circulation, we want to keep it intact so that the baby stays in a, comes into an environment that really mimics the maternal womb uh, so that it can develop for a couple more weeks. Uh, so we know that babies who are born at 28 weeks are stronger uh, and have a, a more higher quality of life. And after the baby is born, we also only have two to three minutes to connect it to an artificial placenta for its oxygen and nutrients. Uh, because the, the maternal, the, the placenta of the mother is not working anymore once the baby is born. Uh, so that's the most critical step, I think, in the whole procedure. So then we have attached this transfer bag and we bring in our hand and then we can deliver the child into the transfer bag. Once the baby is inside, we can uh, loosen the transfer bag from the, from the channel. And then we have access to the umbilical cord uh, to connect it to the artificial placenta. For the delivery, it's really important that you prevent the triggering of spontaneous breathing. So you, sh you should prevent that the baby takes a breath and get the lungs filled with air because then already the injurious effects are starting. So that will mean that you need a transfer device from the womb into the perinatal life support that the baby doesn't start breathing air but is in artificial amniotic fluid.